Here we're looking at a skin lesion, which is probably Bowen's disease, which is squamous cell carcinoma in situ. What we're going to do is punch biopsy the lesion. To do that, first of all, we'll clean the area. We now infiltrate a small area with local anaesthetic. The needle is inserted just under the skin and a bleb is raised. Injecting anaesthetic like this is painful, however, you'll get dense, rapid anaesthesia. The anaesthetic is injected quite slowly to try and reduce the pain. Punch biopsies come in a range of sizes. Two millimeter punch biopsies really have no place in diagnosis now because of the small amount of tissue given to the histopathologist which can lead to misdiagnosis. Three millimeter punch biopsy is adequate though of recent times we're tending to go for four millimeter punch biopsies that way giving the histopathologist ample skin to look at. Pinching the skin up we then rotate and push the biopsy into the skin. The biopsy is done. However, one extra thing that can be done is to remove halfway, tilt to 45 degrees and reinsert, which will transect the fatty base. That allows the piece of skin to be removed. It is always a good idea, if able, to perform at least two biopsies. Again, the aim being to give the histopathologist enough tissue to make a reliable diagnosis. Punch biopsy sites may or may not need to be sutured. On the face, particularly the nose, suturing is usually required due to profuse bleeding. However, in areas such as this, which is not bleeding, does not necessarily need to be sutured.